One of the coolest things you can do with iNav that you can't do with Betaflight is change your PID profile mid-flight. This is very useful to compare different settings in flight like PIDs or filters or any other setting that resides in the profile. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to set up the programming to take advantage of this cool feature. So let's get into it. So we're gonna make these adjustments down in the programming tab. And the first thing we need to do is essentially pull one of our switches on our controller. So to figure out the switch that you're gonna to wanna to use and the channel that it's coming in on, what you wanna do is go into the receiver tab, power up your radio, power up your receiver, and your flight controller, of course, is plugged in here to iNav. And then you're gonna to wanna to pick a switch and then just start flipping it here and seeing which channel that is. So we're gonna use channel nine, as you can see right here, and that's gonna be what we're gonna use for our input, for our switch, so we can do PID profile one, PID profile two, and maybe even PID profile three, or we can set it back to one. So just the biggest thing here is getting this number. So channel number nine is gonna be this switch that I wanna to use to switch my PID profiles. Now that we know that, we can go back into the programming tab and we need to pull that switch. So we're gonna bring down here and go to this RC switch check. And we're gonna set up for, it's a three position switch for me. If it's just a two position for you, you would just use high and low, but I would have high, medium, and low. So we're gonna do high, and then we're gonna do another one that's medium, and then we'll do another one that's low. And here, this is where that comes into play. That's value nine or channel nine in this scenario to go ahead and check that on. Now, of course, once we have those in, it's important to enable those and they will always be on. And you can see here, whenever you move the channel from high to medium to low, you're gonna see this blue dot move as you switch the, as you move the switch. Next, we're going to tie the PID profiles to these logic switches. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this drop down and change this to PID profile. And then we're gonna have three positions here. So we need to have three of these here as well. And then really it's as simple as you're gonna have PID profile one and then maybe PID profile two and then maybe PID even PID profile three. Or you could set this back to one if you, you know, you are whatever you want here. So essentially, what do you want when the switch is at high? Do you want it to be PID profile one, PID profile two, or PID profile three? And then you go ahead and put that number in here. Of course, we're gonna enable these. And when we enable these, we have to tell it, hey, is this always the case? Well, no, it's not gonna be always the case. It's going to be if logic condition zero is met, which is this one up top here. So we're basically tying this to this logic condition up top. So when the switch is high, it's gonna activate this logic condition. When the switch is medium, it's gonna activate this logic condition. And when the switch is low, we're gonna go ahead and activate the third, you know, the third logic condition will be when the switch is low. So it's gonna activate this one. When you're all done with that, just hit save and you are off and good to the races. So now to confirm this is all working and don't mind here, I actually plugged in one of my fixed wings here. So it's uh, low, medium and high apparently is what I did on that one. And then you can see here the blue status light. And then when I move it to the middle value here, it's gonna go ahead and reset the configurator just because it switched this PID profile up here. And you can see that this is active, which then activated this row right here because that's tied to logic condition one. So that's gonna to go to PID profile two. And then when I go and switch it down to the third position, you can see here, and you could quickly see there, it almost act, you know, showed to activate kind of both. Now it's back to PID profile one. So I could simply change that and say, okay, I want that to be PID profile three. And now, uh, as soon as I hit save there, you can see it's actually gonna activate PID profile three now on top of there. So PID profile two would be midway and then PID profile one will be up at the top. Now, of course, if you want to disact, you know, just not have this and you just wanted it temporarily or something, you can always go ahead and just disable those right there and then just hit save and this won't switch anymore. It won't switch any of your logic conditions. You can leave all this here. You can disable these as well and uh, you should be good to go. So now as I move that switch, nothing's, you can see here, nothing's, nothing's changing. You can see my receiver here um, moving that around 
but my iNav configurator no longer is switching these pit profiles because of course we deactivated these up top here. So hopefully that was helpful. A couple of people did drop me comments on how to do that. And I think there's a lot of things you can do with this. Think about air mode and bounciness and how you could have a different PID profile with lower settings. And then you could just switch to that before you land uh, for a big rig, a cine lifter rig. So you don't have to worry about it kind of like bouncing off the ground. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. You could have different filter settings for different things that you're you know, going to be flying through. And then if you're just kind of cruising or you wanted some smoother flight, maybe your PIDs are a little lower. If you're going to get into some... Uh, you know, more dynamic moves, you have a different PID profile where they're a little bit higher. Same thing for uh, your filter settings, you could lower or increase your filter settings to deal with, you know, different dynamic conditions that you might be flying through, especially in something kind of a long range mountain cruiser kind of scenario where in some parts of the flight, you might just be chilling and in other parts, you might be getting pretty active with it. Same thing for fixed wing. Yeah, uh, you can kind of sky's the limit with this. You can do a lot with it. Uh, it's a feature that honestly should be in beta flight um, but it is an INAV, so one for INAV on that. Check it out. Thanks, everybody. Hope this helped. See you on the next one.